Right, time to weigh myself. See what we're dealing with. So we're looking at 14 stone and seven pounds. So that is about 92 kg. So it's fair to say, definitely got work to do. Into this weight has been fun. I've basically been doing a dirty bulk, just eating whatever I want for about three, four months. I've put on uh, quite a bit of muscle, but it's all just hidden underneath the layers of fat that I've put on. So it's essential that I spend a couple of months, if, if not longer, getting that off. So starting off with what I eat on a cut is uh, for breakfast, I'll have a low calorie protein yogurt, which tastes amazing. I usually get these from Lidl or Aldi. Uh, strawberry or raspberry flavor are just like my go-to. They're just something I can eat every morning without fail. Throughout the day at work, I will have some snacks. I'll have these pea snacks that are great alternative to crisps. They're only 87 calories per bag and it's got protein in it. Or from Lidl, I'll have these roasted chicken bites that once again, low calorie and high in protein. And I do have a bit of a sweet tooth. So to, to combat that craving, I will have a protein bar from Herbalife that is low calorie. Now for lunch at work, I did used to meal prep, but I'm very fortunate that I can now bring in a air fryer. So I can quite simply just put some chicken in to my air fryer and just let that run just before lunch um, for about 30 minutes to cook it. And it comes out like perfectly fresh and like just cooked perfect every single time. I'm quite plain with my meals at lunch. I can just eat chicken, just put some chicken seasoning on it. And yeah, I'm just good to go. And I can pretty much just consistently stick with that. Moving on to dinner, what I have before I go to the gym, it will be a very few amount of carbs like sweet potato and a low calorie meat like sea bass and some peas. Um, just keeping the meal nice and simple, low calorie, but enough to fill me up for a workout. There's no set time that I take creatine, but I do believe it's absolutely essential in my opinion. So I make sure that I take five grams every single day. And after the gym, after I've just done a heavy workout, I will make sure that I have a protein shake from Herbalife um, that I take, which is called Rebuild. Tastes amazing, it's five scoops and it's 25 grams of protein and it just helps with overall recovery. Okay, so let's jump back on the stone scales. 13 and 13 stone and 12 pounds. That's awesome. So this is what the physique is looking like. Definitely slimming down. Abs are starting to pop a little bit more. Yeah. Cuts going very well, I'd say. So when it comes to the weight training, I make sure that I prioritize the heavy lifts as much as possible, because when you're in a deficit, your body is gonna naturally want to get rid of the muscle that you've put on previously. So you've got to give it a reason to stay there. So I make sure that I'm lifting as heavy as I can each time, just like I would if I was eating in a calorie surplus. Cardio can be a great way to get yourself into a further deficit. So I like to do one intense kickboxing session a week or finish up my workouts with a 20 minute walk on the treadmill at quite a heavy incline. Okay, time to jump onto the scales for the last time. To end this 10 week cut, let's see how much weight I've lost. Wow, so 13 stone and eight pounds. So when I started, it was 14.7 pounds. So that's almost a stone gone. Let's have a look at what the physique is looking like. So as you can see, abs are really starting to come through now. A lot more definition in the arms and the shoulders. I've always held quite a bit of fat underneath my pecs. So that's just great genetics for you. Stomach and bloating has gone right down. 
yeah, I would say that's really good. Definitely achieved what I wanted. Very happy with that. Good result. Just going over some of the things on this cut. Uh, when I started it, majority of the weight that I lost in the beginning would have been like water weight when I'm cutting down sort of on carbs and just generally going into a calorie deficit. Um, and I also believe that you need to have at least like one day cheat where you just kind of eat what you want, just have whatever you want because mentally you need that because if you just constantly every single day be in a deficit, you're going to start to feel really fatigued, like your mood is going to get affected. Um, and I personally believe as long as you're being good six days a week, you know, like I usually do Monday to Friday, have a cheat day Saturday and then Sunday get back on it. So yeah, you basically just want to do a gradual cut because if you go if you go too mad with it and you have got a bit of size to you, you are going to lose some muscle very quickly. Um, I mean, there was the Jubilee weekend where he had like four days off uh, from work. So I had got quite a bit of alcohol and just ate what I wanted. And you know, if I was proper like, oh, I've got to lose weight and just fixating on that, I wouldn't have been able to enjoy myself. So. I'm a big believer on like achieving your goals, like achieving that you want to lose weight, but also try and have some balance and be able to spend time with friends and family and go out and have fun. But so that's what I managed to still do. And I still managed to lose a stone in 10 weeks, which I could have done a lot quicker if, like I said, I hadn't been going out, having a cheat day here and there. But I think you've got to, I think you need those mentally just to sort of keep you on track, keep you motivated. If you are trying to cut, then just stick with it, it's so worth it. Um, still got plenty of summer left this year to go with. Um, but yeah, if you're stuck with anything and you need any help, just shoot me a message in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, yeah, so that's, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.